two hats on Kate. Da -da 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 -da. Hello, Dan. It is Sunday, which means that NaNoWriMo ends tomorrow at 12 o'clock. How weird is that? It's probably been the quickest month out of the year so far. Hello, it's the last week of NaNoWriMo 2009. Oh god, what a month. It's probably been the longest and the shortest month of my entire life. It was it just relentless, and yet it just, like that, just gone. Just gone. I finally, literally just 10 minutes ago, broke 50,000. I have 50,001 words, just so I can be an overachiever. I, I, love, I love that notion. And um, I'm never, ever returning to that novel ever again. So today what Kate and I want to do is just sort of look back over the month and just basically see what we've learned. I learned that I am really bad at writing to people falling in love. I can do breakups, I can do heartbreak, but writing love is really difficult and I need more practice on that. I also learned that you should not try to do college applications during during NaNoWriMo, because you're going to go completely insane. Um, I learned that comedy is also very hard. This is the first time that I've tried to write any sort of comedy novel. And yeah, I guess that's pretty much... It's going in my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's pretty much what I learned from NaNoWriMo this year. <laughs> the first thing I've learned is that writing gives me crazy hair because, uh, do you know, I'll just show you. I, I, I play with my hair a lot when I'm writing and it, it, it often ends up like this at the end of the day. Oh my god. I learned that NaNoWriMo does not give me crazy hair, but I'd like to show you what my crazy hair looks like because yours is rather amusing. Alright, ready? See my glasses are poking my face. Haha. <laughs> yeah. Ben. Yes, um, what else have I learned? I've learned that planning is essential, like really essential. I came into this with a very brief outline of um, what I was going to write about. I had a very vague idea and I thought that would be enough and it really, really wasn't. Um, what else have I learned? I've learned that I really, really do enjoy writing. It used to be something I used to say I was a writer and I used to write some ideas down and notes and that kind of thing, but I never really actually put pen to paper and come out, come out with like a finished product. But now I really want to do that and I'm already thinking about my next project. I've got it all planned out. It's going to be a short story. Um, maybe I'll come back on this channel and show you guys what I'm doing during it and um, I, I would really love to keep up with this channel. Um, and oh, my hair's gone better now. Hmm, that's pretty cool, isn't it? I also think that we should keep up with this channel. And I do too. Uh, you're not even subscribed. Oh. <laughs> you, should, you should do that after we finish this. Sorry! Anyway, um, I have a few short stories that I'm working on, and I'd also like to keep up with how I'm going with editing my play, so I think that would be a fun way to keep up the channel. I second that motion. I also suppose the final thing I've learned is um, what I was saying in my last video. I am not... I, I've, I've learned what kind of writer I am. Muses do not exist. You you can't have a strike of inspiration and let that um, come to you. I, I've discovered what it really kind of means to be a writer. I know that's, that sounds very metaphysical and that kind of thing. But I, I, I finally get it. I finally understand what you have to do and what it involves. You know, it all makes sense now. And I think that's a very valuable piece of information that you can learn from that aroma. You actually learn 
what writing is. And so, this is our last collab Sunday. Isn't that sad? Uh, you will see me tomorrow. Bye-bye. And that, my dear, dear viewers, concludes our final collab Sunday. Um, you will see me again on Thursday for my um, final NaNoWriMo related video. And other than that, stay groovy.